So now let's see what happens when we do out of order load store execution. That is, we try that aggressive approach of loads going to memory as soon as they know the address, if there is no preceding store that resolves to the same address, and it later turns out that a store has been resolved to the same address. We have something like this. This is going to be our sequence of instructions in the load store queue. Let's say that we are executing these five instructions and this is their program order. First, we have a load that loads from the address 0 plus R6 and puts the value into R3. Next, we have an add that takes R3, adds R9 to it and puts the result to R into R7. Next, we have a store that takes the value from R4 and puts it in a memory location determined by R7. Next, we have a subtraction, R1 minus R2 goes into R1. And finally, we use R1 as an address to access memory and put the value into R8. In an out-of-order processor, when we try to execute these instructions, this is what might happen. Let's say that all of these have already been fetched, decoded, etc. So let's say that the load, because it only depends on R6, which no other instruction is supposed to produce, it can dispatch. So it goes to memory and eventually will come back with R3. But let's say that it's a cache miss. So it's going to take a while until this load comes back. This instruction cannot be dispatched until that happens, and this instruction cannot be dispatched until that happens. In fact, the store doesn't even know the address to which it's going to be storing until the add completes, which is going to happen at some future point. Meanwhile, the subtract can dispatch, and it produces R1 very quickly. At that point, the load can dispatch. It has everything it needs to know. It has the address. Now it can go to memory and load from it. Let's say that the load is cache hit. So it gets the R8 very quickly and maybe supplies it to subsequent instructions. So at this point in time, what we have is that the subtract and the load have completed. We think we are just waiting to commit them. The load and the add and the store are not done yet because they are all waiting for the load to finish and then they can do something. Eventually, let's say that this load is done. Now we produce R3, feed it to this add. The add is going to be done very soon afterwards. And now we feed the R7 to the store. And now, let's say that this was some address x that we have accessed here. If this resolves to not x, meaning the address addressed by R7 is not the same address as the one addressed by R1, then everything is going to be fine. The store is storing to some other address, we have loaded something else entirely and everything is fine. However, the problem occurs when the address that the store resolves to is also X. At that point, the value from R4 that the store is storing is really the one that the load should have been loading. However, the load already loaded some stale value from memory. 